my name is Dollar and I'd like to talk about Peel Magazine. Uh, when I first found Peel, they were already on their second issue. I was doing stickers for a little while and uh, did some research and they were one of the few websites that I found that were dedicated to uh, just stickers and street art and they had their own publication. Um, I ordered it and when it came to the house it was just uh, you know a little black and white mag but what was so cool about it is that it came with a bag of stickers. Uh, it had stickers you know with people from all different cities and that was kind of like my first you know experience of uh, collecting stickers and uh, then initial, you know then getting into trading and stuff like that. I always had black books but um, they were always filled with drawings and now all my black books were starting to get filled with stickers and uh, they definitely brought that to my world and uh, I'm, you know, I'm happy about that. Um, they were also the first uh, publication to uh, recognize what I was doing as an artist and uh, publish, you know, publish my art. Uh, so I'll always be grateful for that. Um, uh, it's opened up, you know, a lot of a lot of doors for me and kind of kick-started my art career per se. Um, I've done a number of different things with Peel, from uh, anything from customizing Foot Lockers to uh, designing, you know, vinyl stickers, and uh, like I said, they were even kind enough to publish me in a, in a couple of their issues. Um, when I found out that uh, Peel was going to be no more, I think it was uh, May of 08, I was getting ready for a solo show with them at Alias Gallery and uh, Dave had called and gave me the bad news that uh, they wouldn't be doing the gallery anymore and uh, they probably wouldn't be doing the magazine as well. My initial reaction was, uh, you know, concern for them. Uh, they're re really nice people and uh, they have a, had a home and have a family, you know, they have children. So I was just really concerned with them and their well-being more than anything. Um, Dave and Holly kind of created a, uh, uh, like a community of sticker artists and street artists. And uh, they re I think they get a lot of, you know, a lot of support. And uh, there's a lot of people out there that love them, you know. Uh, that was evident with their final show that they did at Alias. Um, all the people that they featured in the mag uh, spent, you know, time and, you know, money and created pieces of art, you know, for their final show. They donated their artwork to them, you know, kind of as a thank you and a last, you know, you know, the try to go out with a bang type style. Um, so it, it, it's really cool how kind of everyone comes, came together and, and, it, and it's everything that they, cre you know, they created, you know. Um, one thing that was cool about Peel Magazine was uh, Dave and Holly weren't afraid to show work from unknown artists or, you know, just young artists starting out. I think they had a really good balance between, you know, known artists and, you know, other artists that you never heard of before. Um, I th that's really commendable. Uh, you ra rarely see that, you know, in anything these days. And, uh, you know, they need, they need a pat on the back for that because uh, it's unheard of. Um, I don't know. I guess I, I just want to say, you know, thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate, you know, what you guys have done for me and uh, for the street art community. Um, you have my support. Uh, anything you want to do in the future, you know, I got your back. All you got to do is say the word. All right. Um, hope to talk to you guys soon. Much love.